welcome another of the young poets of Eugene, Candace.
and Rabbit will no longer have someone to complain to when Tigger comes by his house. He packs carrots, he packs spells, a pot of honey, and he just sits and he waits for the sun to come up for his last voyage. He tells his parents he's running to the nearest quickie mart for some snacks and that he'll be right back because he cannot tell them that this is a goodbye trip. A trip where he'll be losing the last bits of his childhood. Because parents don't want to hear that. So he grabs his bag, he walks out the front door taking one final glance at his house because the next time he comes home, he won't be leaving again anytime soon. That's all I can come up with right now.
And though I cannot define you beyond those words, I can sure as hell is hot judge every nihilistic thought you possess. Ouch. And I can contest that which you so love to impose on those who are absolutely fucking lutely identical to you in each and every way. You manipulate your form and the notions you decide should transcend us, though you are condemned like us to sit in with the congregation and idly chit-chat to yourself all the possible things you could be doing instead of listening to some old man preach and what dreams you could be fulfilling if you were not listening to some old man preach. And you know what? This boredom here allows you to confront the fact that you are a cluster, a cornucopia of religious teachings and faiths, none of which you can pinpoint as the one and only true belief in yourself. Because they are all pointless to the way you perform your ethical improvisation and moral screenplays. <laughs> Just be lucky you have the open-minded imagination you have to be thinking of yourself outside yourself because to have a dream these days is an accomplishment entirely on its own merit. Even it is a mere chair dream. Give it up! Yeah. <laughs> Was that awesome or what?